delighted to be here today to deliver this opening address heralding the commissioning of this very important project which will be implemented by the Archdiocese in active partnership with Caritas Ghana. Pope Francis' encyclical letter, Laudato Si, on the care of our common home, provides the moral imperative for the plastic pre-processing plant we are about to commission today. The first initiative under the care of our common home campaign, which the Tamale Archdiocese implemented in partnership with Caritas Ghana, was the electronic waste collection centers in Tamale, which was commissioned in February 2020. The Archdiocese plans are now to expand this initiative with more e-waste collection centers, as well as include plastic collection and processing. These plans will address two important challenges confronting the country in general and northern Ghana in particular. Youth unemployment resulting in rural urban migration. The Archdiocese is very excited about this project and will work towards ensuring that the plant is constantly fed with plastic waste which is gradually taking over the farmlands and often causing flooding. While these plants will focus on addressing environmental problems of pollution, from burning the hazardous materials, the Tamale Archdiocese and Caritas Ghana also seek to create green jobs also for the youth. The Catholic Church in Northern Ghana is deeply committed to stemming the annual exodus of especially young girls to the cities in southern Ghana for menial and non-existent jobs under the very dehumanizing conditions. I therefore want to use this opportunity to invite government and its agencies to lend their support to the Archdiocese to help solve the twin problems of sanitation and youth unemployment in Ghana. The prospects for plastic pre-processing in northern Ghana is very bright. I will therefore urge GIZ and other donor partners to continue to support in the nurturing of this plant saving machines with the aim of ridding our environment from all forms of plastic pollution and also by converting our trash into cash. I thank all of you who are here to grace the occasion, in particular GIZ and its staff, uh, Caritas uh, and their staff, and all those who in one way or the other are going to assist the Archdiocese of Tamale and Caritas Ghana to implement uh, these projects. I now declare these plans commissioned to the glory of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Tamale used to be the cleanest city in the era where uh, 2006, 2005, uh, 2004. Yes, but gradually the population started growing. 
we are producing close to 500 tons a day of waste. And if you look at it, the assembly is challenged in terms of logistics and other things. And we all know that government alone cannot single-handedly handle the sanitation situation. Sanitation is a responsibility for all. And we always wish we we'll have partners like this to help us uh, overcome this big challenge. The Local Government Act uh, 936 stipulates that the Assembly is mandated to create an enabling environment for partners like this to support us to handle waste problems. So we are mandated to create a disposal facility, which we have done. But sustaining it becomes a problem. So if we are bringing in a recycling facility, it makes it easier. We now know that when I produce this, I may not end up losing it as waste, but I can find a way of getting something small from it. So waste to cash. And we have started that in the organic stream. But for the plastic, it's unfortunate. We've not had uh, investors coming in. So this morning, hearing that an investor has come in, partnering the bishops to help us salvage this plastic menace, I will say I'm very grateful. And uh, the assurance I'll give you is that the assembly is ready, ever ready, to support you in all diverse ways to make this uh, edifice and treatment facility a sustainable one. We are the e-waste program commissioned by the uh, uh, German Federal Ministry of Economic uh, Cooperation and Development uh, supports uh, the Ghanaian government through our main partner uh, ministry, MESTI, uh, Ministry for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, uh, to introduce sustainable e-waste management uh, into Ghana. Uh, as our program in our practical work so far is mainly focusing uh, on in the area of Greater Accra uh, region. Uh, we are, I'm very happy to, be, to stand here today uh, participating in the commissioning and inauguration of this plant, recycling plant, uh, because it gives us the opportunity through our uh, partnership uh, with Caritas Ghana uh, and City Waste uh, to extend our scope and work uh, into the northern region as well. And uh, the northern region has a very particular, uh, or is very particularly uh, important for our program uh, because a lot of the scrap workers who are working at the Agobloshi scrapyard in Ghana, in Accra, they actually come from this region, uh, migrating from the northern region. Uh, looking for better life, uh, going to the south, to Accra, and ending up uh, doing collection and recycling of e-waste uh, there under very uh, precarious uh, um, conditions, uh, putting their health in risk. And, and, and therefore, I think uh, this, the commissioning and uh, the inauguration of this plant is a very important signal uh, to all the people to valorize uh, the, 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 the whole area, region, around Tamale uh, to give the importance as well uh, for recycling, to make it more attractive here to stay here and to avoid migration to the south. And uh, yeah, therefore, uh, I want to wish uh, the operation, all the staff here, uh, very much good luck uh, in, in operating, um, a lot of success. And uh, we are very happy in, in cooperating uh, in, 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 the, in, in the operation and, and inauguration of this plant. Thank you very much. Enterprise. We don't see waste as waste, we see waste as resource.
As partners of this project, our task was to train the staff on how to use the machinery, to sort the material, and also to add value to the material that we generate through this project. Our main interest in this project is to add value to the raw materials that otherwise would have gone to the landfill site and be missing. And so that's why the cooperation with the assembly is key to us because we are going to engage the assembly so that we can introduce segregation of waste as source. Because when segregation is done, that is where we'll be able to have clean materials to put into uh, uh, production. We are trying to encourage circular economy here because we are giving long life to these materials that otherwise will not be of use. We are going to turn it into sanitizer bottles, we are going to turn it into cosmetic bottles, containers, and also for irrigation purposes, which most of our farmers here also need for their nurseries, etc. So everything that will be generated here would actually be turned into resource as well. And what is also very dear to our heart is that we are creating jobs. Starting of the project already, a number of jobs have been created. The collectors who are bringing the plastic to this facility, people who are fully uh, employed here, they have their health insurance, they have decent wages. We are talking about the SDG goals here. And so on behalf of the Catholic Church, the entire Catholic Church, uh, Caritas Ghana, GIZ, the founding uh, 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 partners of this project, and on behalf of my CEO, Mr. Jürgen Meiner, We'd like to thank uh, all the, the staff that have been employed for this project, and we are looking forward to a very successful project because what are we doing? We are mitigating, we are adapting against climate change, we are creating jobs, and we are actually improving lives of the society. Thank you very much. For us, Caritas Ghana, uh, what we are witnessing today is the next logical step in our care in the care for our common home advocacy. Care for our common home advocacy. Or if you like, what we call the promotion of Pope Francis and cyclical letter Laudato Si. We really committed to taking this encyclical to all levels of practical action, both uh, at the personal level and society. And so <clears throat> you will see, as the Archbishop said, and also uh, the comments of Marcus and uh, City Waste, you realize that our entry point was the electronic waste management, e-waste. Uh, so anything that can be connected to uh, uh, electrical plug is electronic waste. So they are good, but at the end of their life, has a lot of problems. So we began there. First, by informing and educating church actors about the hazards of this, very much in line with the government of Ghana's regulations on managing hazardous waste. But talking, talking alone is not enough. And then we took the next logical step through the support of other uh, partners like GIZ, the French Embassy, and we have set up electronic waste collection centers in Tamale. That is what the Archbishop referred to. The important difference even is that the plastics there even are more hazardous than some of those plastics that we see, especially when they are handled badly. They have the tendency to affect. But how are we doing this? We are doing this approach uh, based on a model we call social impact investing. Social impact investing model. What does that mean? What basically that means is in Catholic terms, integral human development. So we are interested in the environment, but we are also interested in addressing social problems of youth unemployment. But we want to do it in a sustainable way, which is a business perspective. And thank you, City Waste, for showing us that way, that we can solve these environmental problems in a way that we are turning this, uh, what is the language David used? Uh, yeah, so that's it. I like that terminology, that we are turning this uh, trash 
into cash also. So that's the business model. Let me give you some concrete examples of what we are talking about. As at this morning, as at this morning, my technical people informed me that 7,500 kilograms of plastics have been taken out of Tamale <laughs> cities. Did you hear the figure? 7,500 kilograms of plastics have been taken out of Tamale City. Where would they have been? They would have been in the gutters, in corners of buildings, or they would have been bent in areas that they are not supposed to uh, incinerate. And thus, letting out all these uh, pollutants into the atmosphere. Are we not addressing an environmental problem? Number two, number two. David introduced our indefatigable staff, eh? and we salute you. You see them properly dressed. Just at the start, we have already hired 20 unemployed young people who otherwise would not have had jobs. I don't want to go personal. Among them are people who left Agbogloshi. Marcus, I didn't know you, you got to know that. We have people here who left Agbogloshi, the scrap yard, and told their horrific stories of how they were going through dehumanizing treatment, even with no decent place to sleep, just for survival. Now they are here in the comfort of their own community, staying in their home and working here for a decent wage. SDG goal number eight. We rethink about the general economic empowerment of these vulnerable groups. And finally, you, ladies and gentlemen of the media, your voices, your pedigree of reaching out to society is unmatched by anybody. You, you know, all of these things you are holding here. I trust that the message will go far. We thank you for coming. We thank you for your interest. Help in this campaign and help us to rid Tamale of the filth of sanitation problems, of the pollution but also create opportunities for the teeming unemployed young people, as the Archbishop said, so that they will no longer be trooping down to the south for j jobs that do not exist. Holy water will be sprinkled 
on this factory and all the participants. And may God, the Father of goodness, who commanded us to help one another as brothers and sisters, bless this building with his presence and look kindly and enter here with us and work with us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, who is Father, Son, and Spirit, assist us in this assignment. Amen. Amen. Jesus the Son, the pure 